what is going on guys JT Judgment here and I am back today with another squad builder for you all now I haven't done a squad builder here on my channel for quite some time so I was thinking uh, sitting around thinking the other day what sort of team uh, could I come up with uh, to bring you guys in the next squad builder and I was thinking why not make one of the best teams uh, in world football currently and Bayern Munich was the first team uh, that popped into my head so um, I immediately got straight to it and I had a lot of fun using the team so let me show you the team that I come up with so we're in the 4-2-3-1 formation uh, using the left midfield and right midfield positions obviously because of the obvious players that are going to slot uh, into those positions. As you saw a couple of seconds ago, we got decent players on the bench, uh, Muller, um, Xavi Martinez, Rafinha, and so on and so forth. But let's get into the start in 11, guys. In goal, we have got Manuel Neuer, easily the best goalkeeper that I've used so far in Ultimate Team, guys. And I've used some of the best. I've used Buffon, I have used Casillas, I have used Loris. Um, I've used a wide variety uh, of goalkeepers this year. Um, I haven't used the likes of the legends, you know, Seaman, Lehman and whatnot, and Van der Sar, that's the other one. I haven't used those yet, so I can't comment on that, but definitely, uh, when it comes to non-informs, Neuer is definitely, 100%, without a shadow of a doubt, on the top of my list of keepers that I have used so far, which is weird, because if you look at my past squad builders in FIFA, uh, FIFA 12 Ultimate Team and FIFA 13, you will know that I absolutely despised the guy. He never played well for me, uh, but in this year, this Ultimate Team, he's definitely at the top of my list. Our left back, we have got David Alaba, very, very good player. The only downside to him, in my opinion, is that he's got high attack and work rate, but on the flip side of that, he's got 86 pace, guys. Very, very fast player, so he's got the ability to p come back and, you know, catch up to the players that people try to use to pace abuse um, and just literally just blitz past your defence with ease. So having a player like Alaba on your squad is obviously going to prove that, you know, you need someone with pace in your defence because the amount of people that just use um, Aubameyang and Ibarbo um, this year, those are the two players that... Um, people used to try to pace abuse. I mean, FIFA 12, we had Agbon Lahore. FIFA 13, we had S-Vine. Um, and FIFA 14 has come around, and we have either Aubameyang and Ibarbo. Come to think of it, I come up against Ibarbo a lot more than I do Aubameyang. So, you know, having someone with 86 pace in your defence is going to help out a lot. Moving over to the right back position, we have got Philip Lahm, um, kind of the opposite to Alaba. He is really not the fastest of players to have in your defence. Um, he's got 79 pace, but he, everything else about him is fantastic. He's good on the ball, he's very, very good defender, very good passing, and I definitely think he's worth the pickup for your either your German team uh, or your Bundesliga team. Or if you're doing what I've done and making a Bayern Munich squad, uh, then he's definitely worth the pickup, guys. Moving Moving over to the centre-backs positions, we have got Dante on the left-hand side, 84-rated Brazilian. Um, starting off, I'm not going to lie, the guy really didn't do anything for me. Um, he didn't seem like the greatest um, of centre-backs when it came to pace, even though he's got 68 pace, which is decent this year, it's actually usable. Um, he's got very, very good defending stats and very good heading stats. You will see in this video that he scored a couple of headers for me. As you saw there, kind of a fluky goal. Um, tried to do a volley with one of our forwards and it ended up landing at the feet of Dante who calmly and nicely put it into the back of the net. So when it comes to corners, um, you can rely on Dante to get his head on the ball and put it into the back of the net as well as defending in general, uh, he does a very good job at that. He does have high attacking work rate, which causes him to be out of position at times. Um, but it's not as bad as you would think. He does get back to defend as well. Moving over to the right centre-back position, we have got Jerome Boateng. Now, I prefer this guy so much more than Dante because he's got a bit more pace. He's got 75 pace. I don't think he's got as good defending and heading stats as Dante has. But I honestly would prefer my centre-backs to have a bit more pace... Um, rather than high defending and high heading. 
because any team that I use, I always try to get them to have good work rates and I always try to get them to have good pace. That is the way I play. A lot of people like their defenders to have high attack and work rate, but not me, guys. That is not how I would play. Moving up into the squad now, guys, in the left centre back, uh, left centre defensive midfield position. Sorry, guys, we have got the in form version of Cruz. He's a decent player, very, very wasted, though, in my opinion, at the left centre defensive mid spot. If you're going to buy Cruz for your squad, uh, definitely use him either as a centre midfielder or a centre attacking midfielder. That way, you can utilise his passing and his shooting a lot more. Uh, in this team, the only thing he really done for me was score that free kick. I mean, he did set up a few goals, um, but it wasn't too special. Um, so really, Cruz was there to just score that free kick for me, basically. Our right centre defensive midfielder, we got Schweinsteiger, completely the opposite uh, opinion than Cruz. Schweinsteiger done everything for me. He is very, very good at attacking as well as defending. As you saw some of the goals he scored for me in this team, he's got a very, very good, reliable shot on him. And he's very reliable when it comes to defending as well, guys. For the 60-odd, 70,000 coins you're spending for him, you are definitely getting your money's worth. He defends well, uh, he attacks well, he has assists well, and he is definitely one of the best centre midfielders to buy uh, when it comes to either a German team or a Bundesliga team, or if you're doing the same as me, a Bayern Munich team. Our centre attacking midfielder, guys, we have got Mario Goethe. Now, I was kind of disappointed with Goethe in this team. I mean, I used him at the start of Ultimate Team in a Bundesliga squad, and he played very, very well for me. But in this team, he did not play nowhere near as well as he did um, a couple of months back in that Bundesliga squad that I just mentioned. He didn't seem as fast. His dribbling wasn't the greatest. Um, he scored a couple of chip goals for me and he assisted every now and then. But guys, for 50,000 coins in this squad, he really did turn out to be a big, big disappointment for me. Our right midfielder, we have got the obvious choice. I mean, he's one of the most popular players when it comes to Bayern Munich. That is Iron Robin. Definitely one of the best right wingers. Uh, in this game I have done a full player review on him guys so if you are interested in checking that out then you can hear a bit more uh, about what I think of him in more detail then I'd recommend you go and check that out and I'd really appreciate you let me know what you think um, but Robin for me in this game is absolutely fantastic extremely quick extremely good on the ball extremely good shooting and he literally has everything you need for a winger now as you can see I've used him as the right midfielder in this squad definitely do not use Iron Robin as a right midfielder because it, it you're wasting 300,000 coins in my opinion. In my review, uh, I used him as a either a right winger or a right forward. I can't remember exactly, um, but definitely he does he does definitely play better uh, as a winger or a forward rather than a midfielder, guys. Moving up to the striker position, we have got Mario Mandzukic. Now, I was extremely surprised when it comes to, when it came to this boy. He is severely overpowered. I think that's the best way that I could put him. He seems as though he's got 80 plus pace. His dribbling is so much better than what it says on the card. His shooting is absolutely fantastic. He hardly, he hardly ever missed an opportunity for me. His heading is terrific as well. Literally, everything about him just... It, it, his stats lie, guys, is pretty much everything I need to say about him. I mean, as you can see from this goal, I'm just literally moving the left trigger, uh, the left uh, left stick, sorry, guys, moving in and out of the defence, and he, he can't do anything. So, you know, Mario Mandzukic, for me, is a severely overpowered player in this game. And if you're making a... Is it Croatia or Serbia or one of those two I think he's from. Um, definitely worth the pickup if you are building uh, whatever his nation is. Um, or if you're making a Bundesliga team. Um, definitely worth the pickup. Now, as you can see on the left midfield spot, we have got Frank Ribery. The reason I am not showing you any goals by Ribery, guys, is that I have a player review uh, lined up for you over the next few days on uh, Frank Ribery, guys. So make sure, you, make sure you stay tuned and look out for that. So that's going to wrap up this Bayern Munich squad builder, guys. I really, really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate a like on this video. It really does help me out. And also hit that subscribe button today if you haven't already and as always take care and i will see you all next time ta-da guys